If you're not able to use a flare, try to add a round over to your port. You can do this with a router. If you don't have a router, sandpaper will get the job done. Tip number six, head over to patreon.com where you can purchase pre-made plans and skip all of the math. While you're there, you can support this content right here by signing up for Patreon just like these guys right here at the bottom of the screen have done. And as always, I need to give a big shout out to the $25 and up patrons, Jonathan, Joaquin, JD America, Timothy, and Bo. But seriously, here is the real tip number six. If you're using a slot port or any port that shares a port wall with the exterior wall of your enclosure, all of the port calculators are wrong. You need to apply an additional correction factor by taking the width of the port and dividing it by two and then subtracting that from your length. That's because the effective port length will extend out past the end of your port wall as the air moves up against the wall of the enclosure. That's why my calculator has this little checkbox right here. If you're using a slot port, check that box. It'll decrease the length of your port by half of the port width. Tip number seven, when building your enclosure, keep in mind that the port length is measured down the middle of the port. This is very important if you have a bend in your port and that's really common with slot port enclosures. Take this box right here. I'm building this box for a big down for sound 18 inch subwoofer. To help you visualize what I'm talking about, I've added a line down the center of the port. The first port wall is about 13 and a quarter inches, but you got to go halfway down into the bend. The first port segment is 16 and a quarter inches. That second port wall is 19 inches, but again, you have to go down into the bend. So that whole segment is 22 inches. Both segments are three inches longer than the walls. And that means that the port is actually six inches longer than the wall length. That just happens to be the exact same length as the width of the port. And that is not an accident. The total wall length you need for your port needs to be reduced by the width 